Wow, what the heck? I wish they played this song, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2's ending. <laughs> Very beautiful song. Uh, and it would have been a great callback to the original game. And honestly, I wish they used this in some way for the ending of RDR1. As a callback to the beginning of the game of RDR1. Anyways. Yeah, so <laughs> it's Exodus in America credits version. Uh, it's pretty good. So speaking of depression, uh, let's kill some. Let's kill some uh, gods of Dark Souls. Cause I want to beat this game. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I just, I really, really, really want to beat this game. I don't know how much further I have left. I have no idea. I guess we'll just figure it out. What I will do, however, is I need to... Toggle lock on? Oh, wait, what? Okay, whatever. I wanted to change this to be higher than normal. So we can actually hear the voices. Okay. So we're gonna go to, um, Anne Orlando. And we're going to fight a dragon demon thing. I need to make sure to figure out what ring I'm wearing. Okay, I'm wearing the wrong ring. Let's switch to a ring that would be pretty nice. This one is alright. And let's go. So, apparently I found out I've been making a mistake the entire game. And for the Estus Flask, <coughs> uh, whenever I've been- I 
had a chance of getting one of those like souls or whatever of, from like one of the fire link people um i didn't realize that when you hit use item it just converts it into souls and not actually um and it doesn't actually make your estus flask better and i didn't realize that thinking that that's what i was doing when i was hitting use item uh and i feel like there's some people out there who are fucking screaming. They're like, how the fuck? No, stop. Please stop. Please stop hitting the use button. Please, God, stop doing that. You're making your Estus Flask worse. And to that, uh, I don't know what to say, really. Now, I don't think this is going to immediately take us to a boss fight. Instead, it's going to take us to the boar from the beginning of the fucking game. They actually bothered to add a second one. So, at least they put some effort into that. So, what? We have to either dodge the attack. What happens if I run to the corner? Good shit. I missed. Oh, this one actually just straight up has armor. Got it. So there's no backstabbing that one. So they actually made a second variant of it. Interesting. Alright, what's next in this hallway of... of literally, this, this hallway is, is screaming to have some amount of traps put onto it. Oh, there's the trap. It's another boar. Kill 10 wild boars! Hi. Aw, oh, damn. I didn't mean to do that, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, just run in... Yeah, okay. Run into me, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay, hold on. Just die. Yeah, we, we use more than enough Estus flasks. Fang Boar Helm. Is that good? Is the Fang Boar... Fang Boar Helm good? It has 600 durability, so I guess it has the most durability I've seen so far in a helmet. Don't know what that's all about. But its stats look pretty garbage. A sound piece of protective gear. The stats say otherwise. <laughs> it would be sound in... That, like... Here, let me, let me do that and rest here. Did that, does that boar respawn? No, okay, so they don't respawn. What an interesting room. Now the question is, how big is this section? That's what I want to know. I'm guessing, I think the dragon that we're going to be fighting, it's like a weird like ice dragon or something, is going to be uh, at the top of this tower. So we have to go through several floors to get to it. Kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, what do you call it? Oh, fuck. Kind of like a <laughs> Sword Art Online. <laughs> We're actually fighting the Sword Art Online monster. Or the, the final boss of Sword Art Online, which... By the way, when, that was, I think, one of my... F the few anime that I've actually seen. Well, I've seen I've seen a lot more than, than the average person. Yeah, just stand in the corner like that. That's fine. Um, but Sword Art Online was either my second or my first. I think it was my first anime I watched through, and I, I still think, it, what a, what a terrible one to start with, honestly. But probably a good thing, because, uh, then I wouldn't be interested in watching it. If only I didn't watch Death Note and actually enjoyed Death Note. If only. Okay. 
Yeah, you, you dance and do your funny little dance or whatever. That's cute. So I have to deal with enemies or whatever. Alright, hold on. It's gonna be a lot of Estus flasks, huh? But yeah, they're all like like iced up. Oh hey. Okay. You got me. I'm just curious, you know? Just curious to see what's going on over here. This is probably the most I've streamed in a very long time. And that's only because I want to keep playing this game. Genuinely. If I didn't want to keep playing this game, I probably would have stopped playing it. Like, obviously, I do want to finish... I do want to finish, um... Silent Hill 3 at some point. But I don't know when that's going to be. Um, it would probably be the next on my list after we get through the Dark Souls series. Um, and I know Elden Ring's a newer game, so I don't think my computer that I currently have, which is basically a mid-level computer, I, I had a, co a couple contemplations on what I should do, right? You know? I had a couple ideas on what I, I could do for streaming Elden Ring is one get a uh, save up money to get to make a high-end PC with a 4090 right you know save up all the money I've been making from work um, and use said money to make a better computer that I can then use to stream uh, some higher quality games um, and maybe at that point I could um, uh, I could, like, um, do a dual, dual, dual PC setup to where I have this, this PC I'm currently using be my secondary PC that I use for other stuff and also, like, um, for doing the stream portion so then I'm not using anything, so then the computer I'm streaming to, which would be... The one that I have here. This one. I don't, I don't, okay, stop, stop. There we go. There we go. Uh, so then, I'm not using any of the processes on that computer, and I'm only specifically using what I need to use for the gaming portion, and whatever else I need to use it for, etc. So it would be a, a good all-round PC in general. But, I still have that, uh, option available to me. I never went up those stairs. Maybe I should have gone up those stairs. Hold on. Did I miss- I think I missed the staircase. Give me a second. Um. Unless there was no way to that. How did I miss that? Yeah, I can't even get there. There's no way to get there from here. Okay. Never mind then, unless there's something I'm missing. Um. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I did miss something. I must have. Go back. Um, yeah, so then I could stream higher end games, or games that are more graphic intensive and stream at the same time. That would be the hope. Or, um, like I said, do a dual, dual, dual PC setup where I use a secondary PC. Now that's kind of what I was gonna do for this PC I'm currently using with my old PC that I've been, sh that I was streaming with for a long time. The thing about it though, 
is that my old PC, I, I was thinking about it because, well, first of all, I need the right equipment. So for me to do a dual PC setup and for the audio to work and do all those extra things that I need to do, I need a Go XLR. And I would probably need, most likely need a new microphone that can actually, that actually plugs into it. You know, the amp uses an amp plugin. And so I can actually use the, the, the mixer. And then I can then connect the mixer to the PC I'm using right now. And then that would basically mean that I could connect the two audio from the other PC to this PC. And the problem with it is what I, I've been thinking about it as I was thinking about whether or not I get a Go XLR and a new microphone and all that stuff is um, that computer had really bad internet speed uh, because the motherboard or something on it for whatever reason because it was just such a low-end PC the internet was garbage on there so I could barely barely hold a like if you remember from my older streams that I've uploaded and whatnot, if if it's even pops up on there, the bitrate just dips so often. And it does happen on this sometimes with certain games. Like if you see on, if you remember from Morrowind, where certain things just cause this computer to dip as well. And I don't think I would be running into that issue if I was doing a dual PC setup. So... The benefits of me having a higher end PC would be one, I could use the current PC I have to then do a dual PC setup with that has better internet connection and all that garbage. Um, and two, I could be able to play higher end game, you know, more graphic intensive games, be able to process stuff faster because I'd have a better CPU than the one that I have now um, and a newer CPU than the one I have now. Uh, and also newer graphics uh, graphics card and um, yeah I would also probably not do an AIO I'd probably just do um, uh, air cooling this this time around on my newer PC um, I don't necessarily find I don't think I, I've been finding the AIO to be really well you know it's it's good but I think it might be better for me to just do an air cooling instead. Um, it, it, it's only a very minor um, uh, change in terms of cooling compared to them, and it would be easier to set up and take off and do all that stuff. Um, I did run into some problems when we were installing, if you remember, it, when we were installing the AIO, the thing there was like this very specific thing you had to do with the thing to put it on there so i have no idea on if the thermal paste on this is actually keeping it cool or not i have no idea i think it does i think it's fine but the problem is is that i don't know man it's just this this uh cpu that i have runs pretty hot and it would just it would just be so much nicer for me to have a a better I don't even know who you are who are you um yeah I think I think it would, it would be benefit or be better for computer if I use this com uh, this computer specifically or this CPU specifically is designed for oh god well, I missed it. It's specifically designed for gaming only. It's really good when it's a gaming forward PC, no streaming on it or anything. It's not entirely designed to stream on it and do all that stuff. Here, here's the boss. I guess I can't get to it. Oh, it's a Toho fight. How do I get to you? Is there like a certain path I can take to get to you or do I just have to wait? How are you supposed to deal with this? Okay. 
That was that was a very interesting first fight. Oh. It was on purpose. I guess. It's either that or I have to use the warping to get out of this area. Do I have to use warping? Oh, no. I just killed that guy. Cool. Yeah, I, I figured it wasn't going to be that easy. I figured. I think I'm going to need some kind of ring or some item that's going to give me the ability to get out of here safely. What's up here? Oh, it's a ladder. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Okay, what were they going up here for? Let me see. So, if we go down... Oh, huh. So I guess maybe we want to go up this? I don't know if those guys are supposed to be particularly dangerous, but... Let me see where this goes. Odd. It's locked. Hmm. Interesting. But, um, the other alternative for certain games is a lot of them tend to be on... What do you do? What do you do that's, like, scary? And why are you doing that? Yeah, okay. Anyways, yeah, so the alternative would be to buy a PS5. Because I think Elden Ring's on PS5? I, I have no idea. Here. Come on out, buddy. Ow. Hold on. And, um, the reason why I would get a PS5 is same thing. It's technically I'm streaming a different thing, and that thing only has to worry about running the game. So it wouldn't mind me streaming the screen and the, uh, the screen, the screen and the audio and all that stuff, you know? So it makes sense. Come here. Um... Ow. Let me see where this goes. Um... Yeah, so... That would be the... Extra prison key. Hey, boys. Come in here. Mm. 
I'm like a, I'm like stealthing this. I'm like Metal Gear Soliding ding 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 this. Anyways, yeah. So um, yeah. PS5. I could then also play because I also was interested in playing the Jedi Survivors and Jedi Knight games or whatever the the two Jedi games that they released and are kind of like Souls games but with Jedi's. You know, with Star Wars in its own little thing. And, um, I was pretty curious about that. Come on over here, guys. Come on over here. Weird octopus squid, like, elongated, um, like head crabs. They shoot like ice. Okay. Ow. Fucker. Uh, yeah, so anyways, um, it would be- that- that's pretty much it, is if I get a PS5, I could then play some newer games without having to worry about, um, because those- those games would- would work just fine, I wouldn't have to worry about lag or anything like that, as far as I know, because I have an Elgato HD60X. Um, I'm not really a big fan of 4K anyways, but yeah, like I said, then I could play on PlayStation 5 and do all the PlayStation 5 stuff. That would be kind of fun, I'd say. So, that might be the best alternative because it would be near- it wouldn't be nearly as expensive as getting a completely new PC that's up to date on, you know, the latest tech. You know, literally, like, the price I'd need to pay right now is, uh, around, like, almost, like, 3, 3k? And that's not including, like, a power supply. Well, no, that is including a power supply. That's including a power supply, um, because the, the other, the power supply I want to get is, there's this thing that, uh, Corsair released called a shift. It's a- it's a new kind of- it's a better power supply because it basically means it's less frustrating to deal with cable management because they have the- the power supply stuff on the side. Um, and I also would- the, um, uh, I'd be excited because the, um, I don't know what that did, but thanks. Yeah, um, the tower would be wood grain. There's this wood grain tower that I really like. I think it's like, uh, Nova or something like that. Let's see. Miracle Bountiful Sunlight. Miracle Bountiful Sunlight. So if I didn't kill them, I would get a bunch of those. Got it. This is locked. I have the master key though. Um, I guess we'll have to find a way out of here. Um, actually, what if I did this? We climb up here. Now maybe that goes somewhere there? It looks like an arch, but maybe my eyes deceive me. Can I jump off of this? Oh, it's blocked anyways. Alright. Um. I guess we'll just look around and see what we can find. Um. Yeah, so. <sighs> um. Yeah, it would be better power supply, better GPU, better CPU. Uh, different motherboard this time around. The one that I have is is pretty good, but it's unnecessary, pretty much. <laughs> it's not really necessary. It's it's fine. Like it, it works fine, but um, it was only until recently, like shortly after I got my 
um, motherboard when they finally updated it to where it doesn't brick your computer. Apparently there was like this thing where like it could brick your computer or something. Uh, and then they patched it finally and they fixed some issues and I think they added some extra patches or whatever. Uh, but the one that I'm getting is a more common, well, it's pretty much just a, a decent, you know, normal motherboard. I think it's like called like the Tomahawk or something like that. Asus B2 something Tomahawk. Something like that. It's the, it's the really, I think the one that I have right now is like something like Black Knight or something. Um... But, yeah, it's, it's, uh, if I were to get, like, make a completely new PC, you know. Ah, okay. We couldn't enter here before. What do you got? Large soul. So, nothing. These are pretty comfy jail rooms. Like, it's all, like, wood, wooden. Wood, wood, wooden. Wooden, wood. There is that one jail cell door, I think, that was in our original one, over here. That I think we couldn't open before. Now we can. No, I need to actually... Okay, this is just a meme. This is just a meme. There's nothing over there. <sighs> um, this door was locked. Maybe it's not locked anymore. Maybe it would be a good idea for me to rest at the bonfire, maybe? No. Uh, but yeah, so it would be that 4090, um, CPU would be the Ryzen 7, I think it's called the 95, 9050X 3D or something. Um, I think that's what it is. So, that would be that, and then, obviously I'd use a 2 terabyte SSD. I don't think I necessarily needed uh, a hard drive. I could just use a... There we go, just die. Do you have anything interesting on you? No. Um... Now we're here. Let's see. Ow. I need to, like... Just drink my last potions. I can. Hi. Not go that way just yet. Ow. This, like, uh, goblin man. Can I? No. Um. And, yes, yeah, so it would be two terabyte SSD. Wouldn't need a. I wouldn't need, like, anything crazy so far, honestly. Although, my. I might. I'd probably just port over my. 
my current SSD by, by I think, clearing it out completely. And then just reusing it. Because I think there's like a thing you can do to do that to where it's not a problem. Um, all I have in there anyways are just files. So it shouldn't, it's not like any important kind of like stuff, you know? Let me see if I can... Ow. I tried. Isn't this just from before? Is my bonfire like right across- like right outside this room? Over here. Oh, you're alive again? Hi guys. Damn. <sighs> this place definitely is annoying. Um, I should... How many of these enemies respawned? Like, all of them? Great. These guys drop a really good sword on occasion. The sword that they're currently using is really good. From what I've heard. Or pretty decent at least. It's not like the worst thing in the world. Right, hold on. Where is it? I need to use two humanity. Actually, we're gonna do three. We're gonna turn the Estus Flask up to 15 because this is a bonfire that's going to be probably pretty helpful. Maybe that. And then I also, at this point, I'd probably have to make it a... I would definitely make it a, um... A Windows 11. As much as I don't like Windows 11, uh, games are going to start being made for Windows 11 again, and it's just going to be like a whole other ordeal. So I really don't want to deal with that. This is actually kind of a good farming uh, farm place for the sword. You know? If I had the item discovery, I might get it better. Is there any other enemies that spawned? No. Just those two. There's probably also all the ice goblins hanging out. Oh. I don't even know how to get to that, to be honest. Because there's no way to... I don't know. Maybe I missed something. I'm sure there's a way. I just don't know where or how. Hey, you're alive again. Hi. Honestly, it might be better for me to just use the uh, the one sword that I have. Um, Balder sword with the shield. Just be faster. It's not a good idea. Ah, it's not a good idea. The sword sucks uh, at the moment until I fully upgrade it. So, which is not going to happen. But, who knows? Maybe in another life. Hey, buddy. 
Very annoying. I need to find a way up there. That's where I need to go. Ow. Hi. Fucker. There we go. We can go up from here. There's nothing else over there. Crap. Let's go up. What is this? Turn handle. Probably. It's kind of fun. Yeah, there's probably nothing over there. Ow! Stop that! Yeah, I can block your shots now. I didn't realize I could block them with the sword. Now I gotta figure out how to... Can you not? Yeah, you know what? Here, just stay behind this pole. My flask is still like level one. Um, I don't know how to get down there, so I'm just gonna roll off instead. Just be like, gamer about it. Here we go. Alright, chest chan. You're normal? Strong magic shield. Sorcery. Kakarot. Gah! Kakarot! So what am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to go down? To the bottom of the sea? Down, 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 down. To the bottom of the sea. Oh! I didn't know I could just fight him from there. Wait. Is this where I was coming from? What is this? Yeah, this is. Oh. Oops. So we need to rotate this because... Uh, there's nothing over there for me. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Quite interesting. Are you evil? You are not evil. Very good. How is my gear going? I should probably repair it. It's okay for now. God. So, uh, also in other plans, um, since I have, like, a lot of footage from, oh, yeah, I have a lot of footage from when I was doing a, huh, when I was doing a, um, playthrough for the series that I was gonna do for a retrospective, um, I was going to, uh, do, like, a whole thing. Where, what is this? Crystal Ember? That's pretty good. We'll give that to the blacksmith. Um, yeah, so I was going to, uh, here we go. Um. Nice. Wow. 
symbol of um, Avaris, which is, by the way, given to you when it's going to be the last mimic that you're ever going to kill. So... Either that, or it's not actually the last mimic that you ever kill. It's a, like, 0 0.25 chance or something. It's a very small chance. But what it does is it's... I think you get it once per playthrough. Uh, you can only get it once for, per playthrough. And it's either you get it as your last ring or you don't. Actually, I don't even think it's a ring. Is it a helmet? Is it a mask? Yeah, so it's a mask. Monster head resembling the treasure chest once an ancient god said symbol of shame imposed on a long lost clan exiled to sin of avarice so wearing this slightly raises your soul absorption and item discovery but also fat six wears with the curse of the branded don't know what that means but there is poise on there and it does in fact does it show the item discovery right there? So it would add, I would have more poise than before with it, but I, and I'd also have more uh, item discovery. But like it says, I don't know what curse of the brand it is, but yeah, you can only get this once per playthrough, and I think you can't get it on New Game Plus or something. I forget, I forget the logistics of it, but it is either it's it's a rare item or you get it at a point where it's completely pointless. And I think I just got the the ladder where it's I don't think I'm using the word right, but whatever. I think it's the one where I I was the last one in this playthrough, and so they're just giving it to me out of pity. And there's no reason for me to really have it. Unless this is a Okay. It's a normal chest. Prism stones. I think they gave me 20 of those. Kind of odd. Uh, I do not want to go through that door just yet. I want to see what this... What this uh, lever does over here. It might just open this door. This might just be a shortcut to a bonfire. like it is I never saw this bonfire so this might be the bonfire I use let me see well I won't get another chance but then again fuck it whatever I don't want to waste it if this ends up being a bad idea. Or, a, like, it ends up being a false false call or, or whatever I'll call it. Honestly, I probably should just repair my gear. Crystal straight sword. Let's see. Where does this go? Right off the ledge, huh? This looks pretty barren. Yeah, no, like I said, I'm- what would probably be the better option would be to get the PlayStation 5. And then, uh, we can do some games with that without having to worry about getting a new PC. It would save me more money. In the long run. The question is, am I willing to go out of my way to buy a PS5? Looks like where I'm supposed to go, but I thought I saw something over here. 
So I'm gonna go over here first before we go where we clearly need to go. What's over here? It's more of these crystal guys, is that it? Or is there are they hiding something? They must be hiding something. Crystal gear. Wow. But that stuff is pretty great. What are you doing in this corner? Jesus Christ. Um. My headphone wire, like, landed on my arm. And I freaked out for like a second. I think on rare occasions these guys drop the titanite, titanite flat uh, uh, slabs. I think crystal boys. Yeah, you're making it pretty crystal clear that I shouldn't go near you. Oh wait, I have a sound effect for that. That is loud. There we go. Crystal Cave. Colonel. I'm in the Crystal Caves. Honestly, it's probably faster for me to not do a heavy attack and just do a, um, a light swing. Or a back step, then thrust. What a fun level this is. Wait. Is there a secret? Oh, I can't get there right now. Okay, I will not worry about it. There's a secret to everything, and that's like, there's like a ledge or something you gotta get to to get to that. I like how there's just a floating thing there. I guess that implies that there's secret passages. Which might imply to me that I need to use that information. Maybe I should use that information. Path ahead, really? Okay. That's a big guy. Oh, fuck. Okay, he hurts. Here we go. That guy can't do light attacks, too, because he'll hurt me. What? My bad. I just- I didn't see the invisible wall. How unfortunate. <sighs> okay. Let 
There's all my money. It's the kite shield. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. That's just a wall. Oh. My character just dies. I like that. That's my favorite one when he does that weird groan, like, uh, sounds like the, oh, oh, okay. So if you remember here, you see the little sparks. These are indicating there's a secret path here that I didn't, I wouldn't have noticed before. But now I do. It's humanity. Oh, uh, oh, uh, humanity. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Can't stand the sympathy. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Okay. Oh. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Damn, there was no invisible wall that time. What does this say? Eminent fall. Okay. Imminent fall. Nice. Dear cringe attack. Ow, fuck. Okay. Imminent fall. Well, it's dead now. <laughs> I did in fact fall, and it was in fact imminent. Also, my fears were correct, and there was no point in in me. Okay, that was a, that was a overkill. Um, yeah, there's no point in me trying to use Estus on that because it will it would have not mattered. I would have used it at the wrong time, and. I would be very sad. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna book it. Book it through here. Because they will most likely not even follow me. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. The hell are you?
But I did a cool dodge roll. Why would I take damage from that? That's, I literally could see through that texture. <laughs> Bro. 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 Yeah, I don't know what you are, but I'm not even gonna bother at this point. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna get out of here. Yeah, what, what the fuck's going on here? Why? This map is not broken at all. This map is fair and balanced. Do I do an imminent fall somewhere else? Where do you want me to go, game? I'm at your mercy, over here. Okay. Where am I going? Apparently this is taking me all the way up here. Why would I want to go up here? Why am I up here again? Hmm, I see. This is just full of, of <clears throat> mystery. Oh. I see. Can't really see. Okay. 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 I feel like this is just trial and error. Like, where do you want me to go? Okay. Nope. It's just trial and error. <laughs> I really want to know if there was like a certain way or like a certain item that exists in this game that made this- that makes it easier. Like, there- I feel like there has to be something, you know? see if I can just do like a straight line from here to there. Oh yeah, yeah, stay on this. Okay. Drop down. Go over here. 
It's a dead end. Okay, so I need to go the long way, right? Okay. Okay. Th that's a dead end. <laughs> Fuckers. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna watch like a, a tutorial on, on the Crystal Cave Invisible Bridges section and it's gonna be like a 240p video from like 2008 and it's gonna be a recording of somebody's like TV screen with like some guy and he's like What up YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on Dark Souls you guys don't know about this game, this game is really hard and makes me angry. Uh, I'd recommend playing it. On well, Actually, you know what, I feel like I should just give the full experience at this point. Hold on. We'll do the whole nine yards of the, of the experience, you know. Well, if I don't die, I don't be stupid. Hold on. follows me down here, I'll kill him real quick. He, he will. Okay. Yeah, you can kill that thing. Oh no, he gave up. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do the bit. So, first of all, we need to go to the game capture. Go to properties, and then... Um, uh, how, is there any way for me to change it to where we can change the actual, I don't think there's a way for me to be able to change it. If I did display capture instead, Why does it feel like display capture actually has a higher higher frame rate than That's odd. Okay. Anyways, what does can I do stuff with the property? Capture method automatic. That's the actual thing. Capture cursor. So no. Okay. So the only thing I could do would I guess I'd have to use the video camera. And then record the screen. Do the whole bit like that. 
fuck. I need to go to the display capture and then um, transform, reset transformation, and then properties, yeah, custom, 1080p, wait, hold on, um, transform, fit the screen, no, transform, Stretch the screen? No. Anyways, okay. It's just probably too close to it. Okay. Okay. And then we take the quality, we go to... Wait, is there a way for me to change the... the, the resolution here? is there we go oh god no 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 go back okay all right here we go <clears throat> And then I need to change my microphone to have the audio from my audio source. Where is it? Output, uh, input, funny mic, which is this one. There we go. Properties, default, webcam. There we go. Okay. All right. What up, YouTube? Today we're going to be... I'm going to show you guys a cool tutorial on the Crystal Cave. Uh, now I, I know that a lot of people struggle on this and I want I want you guys to know that I, I, I can do this, alright? Um, so I already killed all the enemies in this section so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to follow the you want to follow the the little sparks that are coming from the uh, from the sky, and they're gonna kind of lead you to where you need to go. Uh, it's pretty simple. So if you just follow what I'm doing, you should be able to be just fine. Uh, sometimes it is a little bit confusing, so it does get a little confusing. So you see there, I drop down. There's gonna be an enemy right there, so don't worry about that. Uh, and you just follow over here. It's really simple, guys. You know, um, you can do it when, once you once you know the path. You can just kind of do it on your own. You don't really need any help or anything like that. Um, and that's just how it is. All right. So we want to follow the path here. Obviously, we don't really got much going on over here. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait until we see one that drops down. That makes it pretty obvious. So if we go over here, oh. What oh, fuck? <sighs> okay. There you go. That wasn't really that funny, to be honest. Uh. Excuse me. Alright. Nailed it. 
this. I just think it's funny because I'm just like, every single time you watch one of those tutorial videos, it's like... <laughs> They always have to mention, I killed all the enemies, so you're gonna see, you know... Uh, you won't have to worry about it, you know, you, you're gonna have to worry about some bone characters, you're gonna have to worry about some enemies here. But, uh, don't worry if you just, um... Just make sure to kill them, make sure to just be patient. And, uh, you know, you'll get, you'll get the job done, you know. But once you get past that part, uh, you'll want to go ahead and follow this path here. And, uh, this is a pretty cool map. I kind of like how it looks. Um, looks pretty nice. Uh, anyways, uh, so I just recently went to McDonald's and I got a Big Mac. And, uh, it was pretty good. I like Big Macs. They're pretty good. They're pretty yummy. And, uh, you know, I went. And, uh, the cashier, she, she was like, she gave me the wrong order, so I had to go in and, uh, I had to, like, tell them that they gave me the wrong order. And she was like, what are you talking about? And, you know how it is. I, uh, I, I then had to explain to her that she gave me the wrong order for the 50th time. And then she was just like, I'm gonna need to speak to my manager about this. So, then... Uh, yeah, so then I had to talk to the manager and tell them that, uh, their employee are their employee is a complete idiot and, um, and that they, they need to, they need to hire a different person because they, they clearly don't understand that I got the wrong order. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, it's really simple. Um, you just got to follow this path. And eventually you'll get to where you need to go. You just keep following it and make sure to to not fall down and whatnot. Um, and then you're all good. You know, you'll, you'll make it to the other side. And you just want to do that a couple more times. Um, and you'll you'll get you'll get what you need. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, fuck that bitch. She she fucked me over and um, fuck the manager for not giving me my. Uh, the right order. They told me that, um, that it was the right order and I kept telling them that it wasn't. I specifically asked for extra Big Mac and, um, they told me to leave because I was, uh, being disruptive or something. I don't, I don't know what they were on about. I think they're clearly the ones being disruptive. I'm clearly the right one and they're not. Uh, I guess I need to jump, um, up there. I need to do like a run and jump or something, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, too. But yeah, Crystal Cave, it's really easy to get through. Uh, you know, I'm struggling a little bit here, but, you know, this game's hard. Uh, you know how it is. And, um, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta fail to make lemonade. You gotta, you gotta make bad batches to make good batches, you know. So anyways, the other day I went to Walmart and, uh, this is such a, this is such a pretty map. I really like the crystals here. Uh, so I went to, so I went to Walmart the other day and they didn't give me my, uh, I, so what happened was, uh, it in the machine wasn't giving me my receipt. I, I recently purchased like a large item and I I was trying to I went through self self checkout and uh, it just wasn't giving it to me, you know, it just wasn't giving me what I wanted. And um but at the time like it, it wasn't printing the receipt. I was just like, I don't need one, I guess. I'm just gonna leave. Uh so I went ahead and I was
So I went ahead and I started to leave the Walmart and uh, then one of, the, one of like the greeters, they stopped me and they said, do you have a receipt? And I said, no, the machine wouldn't print it out. And they were like, all right, I'm gonna have to ask you to stay here. Uh, I need you to stay here. And I started freaking out because uh, the other day I still, I took a Snickers bar from the Walmart and I thought they recognized me. Um, I was, I just didn't have a dollar fifty on me. And, uh, I just did not want to pay a dollar fifty for a Snickers bar. So, I just went ahead and I just put it in my pocket and left. And that's just how it is, you know. It's just a story, so it's not true. Uh, there's no proof of it. Uh, but anyways, I think they, they recognized me. And, <clears throat> I started freaking out. And, um... I just booked it. I ran with the TV. And, uh, yeah, let's just say, uh, the greeter, uh, tried to chase me down. Unfortunately, the greeter was also, um, I don't know how to say this in a polite way. Uh, they, they weren't able-bodied. And so they were just chasing me in a wheelchair and I felt really bad. Uh, but, you know how it is, I just, it was just like, they really, really, really didn't, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I freaked out and I ran, and I got into my car, and I drove off with my TV that I paid for fully to be, you know, you know, I'm not like a thief or anything like that, I did in fact pay for it, um, and, uh, I think I go this way. Anyways, uh, at the end of the day, I got a pretty good TV. It was on sale for 30% off, and, uh, I was just like, you know what? I, I need my new, I need a new flat screen TV, you know? I've been using this, uh, I've been using an old, um, reverse, uh, pro projection, projection screen TV. One of those box TVs. Absolutely loved it. It's pretty big. There was like one massive um, dead pixel on it that you could just clearly see, but it's whatever. It was like having my own movie theater in, at home. Rear, rear, rear projection uh, TV or CRT, whatever you want to call it. Pretty great for gaming too, because you get like just a big screen or whatever. So I'm just sitting on my my home theater. You know, watching some, watching some Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. And, uh, it's pretty great, you know, like, I did, I did like it. I'm probably gonna keep it, you know, you never know. But, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it. It just takes up so much room. Although, I do, I will have to say, um, I might not replace it as my home theater for a while. Because this flat screen TV is kind of small. It's 27 inches. It's not really a big flat screen or anything like that. Um, and, uh, you know. That's just how it is sometimes, I guess. Uh. Anyways, um... Uh... The other day I was going to, uh... I went to, like, a Goodwill. And, uh... I saw, like, I saw... Time Splitters, uh, one for the GameCube, uh, in one of the, uh, display cases, and I was, like, looking at it, and I'm like, 
why are they selling this for 50 bucks when uh, the box is completely ripped up and everything? It, it looks in terrible shape, yet they're selling it for $50. And I'm just like, okay. I asked the workers, can I get this for cheaper considering how damaged it is? It, it's, it's in complete... I could get the exact same thing on eBay for cheaper. And... You know, like, if I got it in the exact same condition that they they were offering it, I probably could get it for $15. And I would, they were just like, well, it's part of our policy, blah, blah, blah. Um, we saw that people were overpricing this game on eBay and we didn't bother to actually check the prices and shit. Because we're a bunch of idiots. And um, a bunch of greedy idiots and stuff and... Uh, we just really, really want to... We really want to fuck over the consumer and stuff. Oh. So now it's not a... Now it's not a straight path anymore. It's actually just, um... It's like a weird curved path. That's great. I like that. See, my problem is that I'm not being patient. Um... So anyways, um... I don't, I don't care what their policy is, um... And I don't care that, that people are overpricing on eBay. You probably should pay attention to the fact that the box on the games were like, I don't know. And good, like the, the box was actually in really good condition. You know? And these motherfuckers, I found a literal copy of Mario 64 for $25. Which, to be fair, you know, that's a really good price considering how much people sell it for online despite the fact that their version of the game could be completely fucked or something you have no idea and let's let's be honest here Nintendo 64 um those cartridges like those older Nintendo consoles ha have garbage like like they're, they're they're garbage in terms of like performance and also just like hardware you know it's not like just it, it's it's prone to just break at some point you know especially the the original nintendo those things were built like they were made during the great depression like just sh purely just like cheap and just poorly made half the time because they just overproduced them you know it's just how it is youtube uh it just doesn't make sense to me how these, how people just sell a console that's not even gonna work five months from now for like 50 bucks or sorry, my bad, 100 bucks. This has to be like one of the stupidest sections in the game. Uh, somehow worse than Blight Town. I'd rather do Blight Town a hundred times over than walk across invisible bridges. And you know what? I'm going to look online and see if if there's a better solution to this that I could I could use that would actually benefit me. Because this is just stupid. Now, I think they gave you a bunch of prism stones. And I don't know how the prism stones work. So I'm going to try to use prism stones instead, but we'll see. I don't, again, like, I don't know how it works. Let's try prisms. Anyways, how, mu how much longer am I going to do this weird, like, persona that I'm doing where I'm playing as, as, like, this early 2000s, like, YouTuber who's playing a game guy, a uh, guy? <laughs> how much, how much longer am I doing this for? Because I can keep going. I can make up these random BS stories for a little bit. It's easier to make up a story than it is to talk about realistic stuff because more likely than not I'm not going to be like 
don't know how to describe it, but... I don't think I have nearly as interesting as a life as the person that I'm currently- that I was currently portraying. Drop and listen to check for heights. Okay, use. Okay. Maybe I should just be using these prism stones. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Where's this way go? Oh, fuck. We don't want to go there. Okay. 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 Jesus Christ. Okay. We made a path. By just using prism stones. I don't know if those stay. I would hope to god that it does. Anyways. Is there anything I'm missing here? Yes. What's the point in this area? Bro, no fucking shot. No fucking shot. Oh my god. Okay. I think they're there this time. I don't know where I need to go though. All I got was like an item. I didn't get anything interesting. And I think I might be lost, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll head back there and see what's going on. Nice. Yeah, Crystal Cave. This is a good section. Just saying. This is, this is a fun area in the game. I'm having a blast. Do I have to kill you? Oh, great. Oh, great. You're deadly. Got it. Don't attack you. Whatever the fuck you are. Oh, wow. So they don't save.
Dark Souls Crystal Cave. Fet Fextra Life. Twinkle Titanite, because it's a common drop from cl giant clams. Yeah, the problem is... We'll aggro the player if it attacks or gets very close to them. A special soul, unlike the Moonlight Butterfly boss. Moonlight Greatsword. Map of Crystal Cave. Where's the entrance, though? I don't get it. Okay. Worse than Lost is a uh, Xylith. Both invisible walkways are straight shots. What are you talking about? That they follow you. Giant clams. What the fuck are giant clams? The hell are these things? What the hell? Okay, hold on. Vastly easier. Um, here is this video, it's very helpful. I wonder if this video takes me straight to... Straight to like a Rickroll video. Oh no, it doesn't. It actually took me to an actual video. There he goes, it's running through it. This guy's fast, he's zooming. Oh, I was going the wrong way. Bro, no way. I was going the completely wrong way. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know that it was literally that easy. That that weird separate section that I was doing is completely pointless. It was for one item, and I don't even remember what it was, so it's not even that important. <sighs> Let's go. Imminent drop. Drop imminent. Dude, I could see the wires from that one.
We made it. Alright, what do we have to deal with now? Gi Look at the giant clams! Hi. You're kind of creepy. How dangerous are you? You guys are very dangerous. Okay. Missed. Is he blocking a wall? So I have to kill these clams to really get through here. Damn, this is gonna suck. All right, get over here, buddy. Come on, there you go. Get on over here. I know you're gonna want to kill me. I know. There you go. Who's next? That one? Okay. Get on over here, buddy. Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright. Next. It's you. Come here. Twinkling Titanite. This is apparently a great way to get those. I have a lot now at this point. A lot. I hope that whatever this is... This isn't like a boss or anything, hopefully. And I, I can fight... The goblin easier. Is this like a, an important item that will help me fight the giant or the dragon or whatever? Or no? No, I'm just fighting the dragon now. I probably need whatever item that is, hopefully. Unless it's guardian now. It's guardian, okay. Dragon Chan. I need to... Oh, what am I doing? Go and grab the thing. Where are you? What did I just do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh god. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to drink. Ow. No, 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 wait. Come back. Stop that. I want to cut your... I want to cut your tail off so I can get the moon... The moon sword or whatever it's called. Stop it. Stop it. Let me see the behind you. Let me see behind you. Come on. Come on. Let me. Let me. No. That's your. That's your. No. No. Let me see it. There we go. Let me see it. I need to... Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh god. Don't do anything stupid. Ow. 
I missed. Sorry. God. Let me let me see your tail. Gotta see the tail. Come on. Let me see the tail. Come on. Come on. Let me see it, silly. Come on. Let me see the tail. Come on. Come on. Let me see it. Come on. I gotta cut it off so I can get the moon sword or whatever it's called. There you go. No. Get around you. Come on. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna keep holding down the button until I just get behind you. Or not. We can do this all day. Bro. Let me get to your fucking tail. Please. I implore you. Come on, Seth. Please. Please, 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 please. Damn it. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Fine. Fine. Okay. Alright, so we need to get to we need to get to the other bonfire to get to the thing. I need to repair all my equipment. That's what I need to do. Repair. 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 Okay. And I should go to my friend. And give him a new ember thing, whatever you want to call it. So now we have three of the four souls or whatever of the lords of the evil people or something. I we need to travel the abyss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Excuse me. I should also, how many of those large ones do I got? I got one. 
how many of those chunks? Do I have a lot of chunks? I have a lot of twinkling titanite, but... That doesn't mean anything. Let's go talk to our blacksmith friend again and see how he's doing. That was that. That was kind of fun, I guess. Mm, that's an odd ember you have there. Ah, I know what you're thinking. But I'm no good with those. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. Damn. That's tough, man. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. Okay. We'll see you, man. I guess I'm gonna go try to fight the four kings and or attempt to fight the four kings, which will probably take me a little bit. Because I have to fight multiple at once, which is not exactly fun. So you have to go to Firelink Shrine. And then from Firelink Shrine, we need to go to Valley of Drakes. From Valley of Drakes, we want to go to... Uh... The bonfire that's at the Dark Root Basin or whatever. And then once we take that, once we're at that bonfire, then we can start running through the Valley of Drakes, past the, uh, the Drakes, into lower, lower Londo ruins or lower New Londo ruins, run through the, the course, and then meet our, our, our fate. Meet our fate with the, uh... The Four Kings. And then after the Four Kings... I don't know what happens after the Four Kings, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what happens. Um... I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just getting these Lord Souls. And... I got three of the four, as you can see here. Just need one more. I guess the Sword of Ascension, or sorry, the Ember of Ascension or something is for the, um, the, and, and, uh, Andor, the Andor Lono. Mm -hmm. We have to past all these guys. That's gonna suck. Whatever. Whatever. And I should probably level up too if I can. Use my points that I got. My my points. Um, do I have enough points to get a free sub? Uh, looks like you still need 200 points. Oh, okay, so how many like subs do you think that is? How many sandwiches do you think I need to get? Um, well, uh, it's hard to say, you know, like depending on what you get. Like if you get two, you know, regular sized meals, you'd probably get, you'd probably get 100 points right there, you know. Um, so. Getting a meal would be a good idea, especially a regular size meal, so you can get those points. And, uh, you know, after next time you come in, so on your third visit, you should, if you keep getting the meals, you should be able to get, um, your free sandwich. Oh, okay, cool. Um, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get one sandwich today. Okay. Uh... Are you getting a meal? Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll get a meal. Okay, what uh, what bread would you like on it? Um, I'd like to do it on the rosemary bread. Okay. And what, wait, what are we, what are we getting? Sorry, uh, what are we getting? Um. Can I get... 
<laughs> can I? <laughs> Can I? <laughs> can I get a turkey? Can I get a turkey sandwich with what's so funny? Oh, nothing. Can I get a turkey sandwich with? <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, I have a condition where I, I laugh. I have like unconditional laughing or whatever. Uncontrollable laughing, it just happens sporadically. Um, okay. You know, it's okay. Okay. Um, you know, that happens. I understand. Yeah, so can I get a turkey sub? Can I get a regular size? Okay, so you want a six inch sub? Um, uh, uh can I get a. Can I get a 12 inch sub? Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, can I get a 12 inch sub with, uh. Can I get it, uh. Can I get it with lettuce, tomatoes? Oh, we can get that after. Um, you know, we, we, we'll do all that stuff. Okay. Um. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it on turkey. Okay. All right. Um. Where, how, what are we getting on the sandwich? Yeah, so can I get, um, can I get some lettuce? What cheese would you like to get? Oh, uh, can I have provolone? Okay. All right, what else are we adding? You said lettuce? Yes, lettuce. Um, okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah. So can I get some tomatoes and pickles? Okay. All right. And... Uh, can I get... Let me think. Uh, can I get... I was thinking, can I get the... Ah, oh, shoot. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just, um... I'm going through a lot right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, take your time, ma'am. No, it's- it's fine. I just, you know... <laughs> I've, like... <laughs> you're not gonna believe this, but... <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of a game right now. You're- you're- you're in the middle of a game? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm in the middle of a game right now, and, um... I'm currently... I'm currently fighting the four kings. Oh, you're- you're, uh, you're playing Dark Souls right now? Yeah, 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 I'm playing Dark Souls right now. Oh, okay. Don't do any, like, cringe attacks, please. Ow. Very nice. Thanks for letting me heal real quick. Oh fuck, I hate you. No, I don't want to dodge roll. Okay. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to dodge roll there. I wanted to not dodge roll. So if I get a couple of these, I should be okay. I don't know what's happening here, but I think they're killing me. Okay. Um, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to avoid those attacks. Oh, okay. Alright, thanks for telling me that, you fucking dumbass. Okay, hold on. Don't do another one of those, please. Okay. No, I don't want to dodge roll. I want to... Okay. I'm trying to do a run. Okay, can you not do that, please? Nope. 
There we go. So, uh, can I get that sandwich Mike's way as well? Oh, sure, yeah. Are we gonna add any sauces to this? Um... Yeah, can I add some mayo? Uh, sure thing. Yep, we can add mayo. Alright, fantastic. Looks like uh, we're good to go. Um, are we gonna be getting a drink and some chips? Yeah, can I get, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get some chips and I'm gonna get a drink. Okay, alright. And will that be all? Yeah, of course. Can you go ahead and put in your number, please? Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, of course, of course. Alright. Very good, alright. We're good to go. Um, thank you for coming in. Um, and, um, you know, that's for... Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Okay. Uh, hey. I need to, uh, talk to you. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Uh, I need to warp. Very well. Then... Stay still for a moment. Okay. Leveling up my stuff definitely helped. And I guess I'm going to put in all my... Whatever you want to call them. the points in the health. to the kiln of the first flame. This is where Gwyn is located. He is a funny, silly fellow whom, uh, you know, he's just a little wacky. You know how it is. He's a little goofy. Ow. Titan Night Chunk, first try. And a lovely tight, uh, Black Knight Sword or whatever. So this is going to be probably the first of many fights. I don't know how long this section is. I do know that this is probably going to be like one of those... Ow. Dude, this guy's fucked me up hard. I'm literally gonna have to use this to heal. 
Or I just don't waste these, but whatever. Fuck it. Black Knight Greatsword. Nice. There's more where that came from. Night chunks. It's so crazy how this game has so much armor like choices to pick from. And you'd have to literally sit there. Like, what level was my character? Level 97. I'm not level 100 yet. But. You'd have to sit there grinding your ass off to make your equip load with even like the the ring that gives the Havel ring, you know. I need to wait for him to do like a big swing or whatever. There we go. You just got tippered. Um, but yeah, you'd have to do like, I don't know how to describe it, but like fucking... Yeah, you'd have to do a shit ton of, like, grind just to make the armor do, like, a mid-roll. Alright, jeez. Alright, we're here, I think. I, I guess we're here. Or whatever. See what happens when we enter. Gwen Lord Cinder. Hey, buddy, what's up? My shit. You are literally like the final boss of the game. I'm pretty sure. Damn. Ow. I need to like heal. So don't do like a big swing or whatever. There you go. go. Alright, just calm the fuck down. Okay? Alright, alright. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. Alright, you got me. Alright, you got me. You got me, you got me. Alright, you got me. You got me, alright. I didn't exactly get it. I didn't understand. Alright. Do I have to fight all those black knights again or do they respawn? Wait, wait, well that was ans asking the same question. Um, do they respawn or do they don't? Or do they <laughs> Yes, they respawn. Okay. I'm just gonna run through it and see if that works. Because I think it, I'd rather just run through this part and not worry about these guys. Come on, boys. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. We're going to various distant lands. Jake the dog and Finn the human. I think they say, come where the fun never ends. It's adventure time. I believe that's where it says. I know it says, um, where the fun never ends. Adventure time, I believe, is what they say. So, I have to circle back around because there's this guy. We have to circle around. Follow me, my friend. The other guys just uh, decided to give up. All right. Ah, fuck this guy. He's not. He's not gonna let us. He's not gonna let us follow him. 
Alright. <sighs> he did not fall off, surprisingly. Oh no, he did. <laughs> he did, in fact, fall off. Bro, you fell off. Bro, you just fell- you fell off, dude. He fell off so bad. Right, let's fight, my guy. Oh, that actually stuns you? Alright. Ow. Maybe if I had my, uh... My gamer. I think I did, in fact, hit him. Ah, damn, he got me good. Hey, don't hit me. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Hold on, I need to run. Okay. Alright. I got him less than half health there. I just need to, uh... What I need to do is I need to use a shield. It's unfortunate that I need to, but that's the case that, I, that I'm living here. Is I need a shield. To block his attack. And what's a, a better shield than the eagle shield? Apparently. I don't know how much how much it'll block though. So. I think the worst part about this is every time I die I have to do this run. Fucking cocksucker. What a fucking asshole. God damn. I think he froze. I glitched him. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to do this better. Ow, fuck. Well, he's probably gonna do a lot of damage, yeah. Alright. Fuck you. God damn. He's like, face me or don't. Alright, he's stuck. Good. Dude, fucking calm down. Use the fucking this. He can stab through it? Oh my god. Okay, the shield is not worth it. Shield's not worth it. Shield's not worth it. Just ain't worth it. It's just, it's just not worth it. I just gotta, I just gotta play better.
so I can really do. This is probably going to be a really hard fight just from the fact that, well, if I can get behind him instead of being in front of him like I've been doing, fuck off, fucking piece of shit. Decided they're not just gonna follow me anymore. Which means I can breathe. No. Why couldn't you have just glitched out again? So you have to fucking follow me like a freak. God damn. Alright, let's try this again. Piece of shit. Is there a better sword I can use? Or a better ring I can use that's not gonna boost fire defense. There we go. Cause I think my I think my gear was like pretty garbage against fire. Now it's not. How much against fire defense? It's not too bad, but... Jeez, man. <sighs> Alright. We're gonna be here. <clears throat> I need to... I just need to find a way to cheese him. You know? There's always a way. every time <laughs> I have to I have to I have to run my ass through this every time going out here with fucking hard ass attacks that are just really really 
and knowing to dodge. I do know I it feels like I need like something to I feel like I need something to fuck with him, you know? Okay, he just he just went around it. He just did like a really dumb fucking lunge attack. Like, look at how much damage that shit does. Just gonna fucking go around it. Yep. Alright. Is there another rock I can use to just not have to deal with that shit? This rock. This rock goes hard. Can you not? Fire ring is doing nothing. It, it literally does not do anything for this at all. So this is this is a bad one. So what would be better? <laughs> Reduce this lava damage. Um. If I use that, instead I use this. No, wait, wrong thing. I get up faster. I might as well just... Say screw it. Uh... Oh yeah, I forget, he's actually a human. I could backstab him constantly. So we want to try to get backstabs. As much as possible. So we want to bait him to get behind him. So we just want to get right in his face, pretty much, the whole time. Got it. Just gotta get past these guys. Tee hee. These guys are funny. Funny. So, I guess we'll just keep trying to go for backstabs instead of doing hard-hitting swings, like R2s, because they're just too slow. If we just bait him for backs backstabs and then not have to worry about, like, well, I guess we'd have to dodge, but I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess. Alright, do your weird lunge attack that you like to do at the start. I thought I dodged it, but okay. I 
I missed. What? There we go. I thought I fucking... I can't fucking get him? I can't do a backstab. They're sitting here like being like, backstab, backstab. Maybe they got rid of that. Maybe they they got rid of the away uh, that as like a thing. Or am I just like literally not hitting it perfectly every time so far? Is that, is that it? Is that what I'm doing? Because I have no idea. Apparently just hitting him at all makes him stun for a second regardless. Maybe if I move to the left of him instead of to the right because his swings are coming from his swings are coming from the he's holding his sword on his right hand so if i if i'm moving to his to his left then that means i'm i'm running straight into his attacks no i tried to dodge that I'm going to use two potions because I'm not going to get another chance to heal during the fight with what's his name at all. He's literally not going to let you breathe at all. So you might as well just do it now. They need to bring back Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. Alright, let's try this again, but this time... It doesn't work! What the fuck? Bro. He has 100% coverage of his entire body. What do I do? Like, obviously I could try blocking. I guess I can hold block while, like, running around him and then trying to do a backstab, but... It's just every single time I have to do this over and over again. This is the worst part. This jog. This fucking marathon that I have to do. This marathon is the worst part of this. Other than the fight. Other than getting like a small chance of fighting the dude every single time. To like understand what the fuck's going on. Because I have no idea. I have no idea. I could try... Like I said, like, this is my best weapon. Is this... is this sword. I'm getting lag... lag spikes. I just... I just want a win here, you know? Dub. I need a dub. For real, for real. Bro. Oh my fucking god. He just got a fucking hit on me. He just got a fucking hit on me.
No. Fuck. Fucking bitch. Let me heal. Let me heal. Let me heal. Let me heal. Fuck you. You're a fucking... You're a fucking... Asshole. He's a fucking piece of shit. Oh my god. Oh. This is like a low level. You're playing Melee or any Smash Bros game. And you it's your first tournament and the first guy you have to play against is fucking like Hungrybox. <laughs> That's your first opponent that you've ever you ever have to play first ever game <laughs> And that's the guy you have to go up against And the best part about it is that I think you only get like two rounds one or two rounds so they can get through people quicker So you get like one or two chances and then you're out that's it. <laughs> Better luck next time. Go play some locals. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Right now. This is me. Literally. Like going to a tournament. And I'm... This is probably like my 10th time going to a tournament, uh, paying to go in and everything. And, um, I finally, I get to one of the better players in the game. One of the better fucking gamers. And, uh, mm. This again. Jumping towards him doesn't work. Okay. I missed. What's his poise break? That thing? The fuck? Okay. It's not an easy strat. <laughs> okay. Someone said, um... Throw, throw, uh, dung pies at it. Constant, just keep throwing dung pies at them. So they were talking about backpedaling. So doing this. Well, that's that's not a good idea. Hold on. But they were talking about um, pairing with the great shield. Or sorry. 
um, the dragon crest or the crest shield. So I use the crest shield to parry him. And that's what I'm supposed to do. And then punish his lunge attack that he does that I, I can't seem to dodge at the moment. Yeah. Ironic. I do not have a fully leveled up great shield, or sorry, fully leveled up, um, great sword that they're referring to. Bye. Oh, he's still following me. I can hear him. Attempt to punish. I guess I backpedal it. Let me try that. Let me try backpedaling the like attack. Let me try that. Oh no, that was a grab. That was a grab. Well, rip. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> that didn't work unless I didn't time it right. I will attempt this like five more times and then I'm just gonna stop it here because I have to wake up early in the morning again. Not as early as today, but it still sucks. And then I guess I'll try it tomorrow. So I can do pretty much just keep trying at it. Keep trying. Perry, this motherfucker, and I don't know how. That's the funny part. The guy didn't even follow me this time. God, that almost hit. That would have done so much damage to me. I fucking hate you. 
Oh my fucking god. Well, there goes all my health again. Alright, well, I'm not getting another fucking chance. Alright. Dude is playing me like a damn fiddle. Who would have known the hardest enemy in the game is literally a guy who just can... Who just does all the annoying, most annoying possible things. He has attacks that have no cooldown. They go all around him. And... Yeah. My worst enemy. Character I cannot cheese. Or in a boss I cannot cheese. To some degree. Cannot cheese this one. He's uncheesable. Especially that first attack that I can't dodge for some reason. Unless I time it literally perfectly. So, like, I think I have to dodge last second for it to go through. And in terms of parrying, I literally don't even know what attacks I can parry. Uh... Because his weapon is so large that he just is too far away. So, like, the timing is really hard for me right now. Especially since I rarely ever parry in this game. I could also just try to do it my own way. trying There we go No damn GG He backed me into a corner I'm gonna try to go somewhere where I can glitch him, it's where he won't bother me, but that's highly unlikely. Let me see. Uh, this, this rock, which one was it? It was this one right here, you seem to have to struggle with. Just did like an auto lock on the attack. Yep. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, like look at how jank that shit is. Okay, good. He's able to let me. Fucking do that. Let me see. Damn, I didn't get it close to enough to him. Okay. Try this again. Just master the parry. 
Ow, fuck. God damn it, man. Ugh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Well, that was the best attempt I've done so far, and I guess it works. But, my god. Let me do that a couple more times, and I can beat him. For real, for real. Just parry. I just sit there and I spam the parry button and on the second time it'll parry the second attack and then just go in there and, and hit the X button, the light attack button and do 690 damage to him. And then just do that like f six times, like five or six times, I guess. I don't know, that seemed like a lot of times to do it. Backstabbing does not work. I don't know where... Okay. I don't know where the idea of, of backstabbing came from. Probably, maybe you could do that in the original. I feel like they probably would have changed that here. Mm. So... Yeah, I'm just not- I'm not gonna get angry. There's no reason to get angry. It's pointless. I just need to to skill up, you know? Just need to skill up my skills. That's what the, the gamers say, right? Skill up? Yeah! Skill up! Right? Isn't that what they do? I mean, I'm a gamer, you know? I eat pizza. I drink soda. Like... Uh, root beer. I love root beer. And, I mean... I use a controller. Uh... All the, you know... Stu- the s essentials for gaming. And, I mean, that's all you really need to know, you know? Nice. Now I spam my- my fucking Gatorade. Ah, that missed. Ah, damn. I'm for the jog. Again. Kiln of the First Flame. Kiln of the First Flame. You know what I need to do? I need to do another, um, sub-sandwich place RP. Something like it. It can't just be another sub-sandwich place RP. It has to be, like, specifically, like, uh... Yeah, get up. Nice! Two hits off of me, let's go. Good shit.
Guy gets stuck, he did. He kind of got stuck behind the thing. So I was able to do that. Let me see. I mean, hey. This could be the run right here. This could be it, you know? Just think about it. Just think about how this could be it. Like, it's over. It, it's not. Like, I know. But, you know, like, it's nice to think that it is, you know? It's nice to think that this is it. Alright, I need to charge. I need to recharge. Let's think about this. Here we go. 690. There you go, that's one. Oh, I had to- I had to legitimately recharge here. Alright, we have to use the rock. Yeah, just use your fucking dumbass fucking sword attack or whatever. I just have to fucking sit here and fucking dodge constantly because you're fucking bullshit. Wanna we'll do it again? Now we just fucking sit here and spam this. What a fucking asshole this guy is. Fuck you. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my Gatorade or whatever. Alright, get back up, get back up. We gotta do this again another fucking a million fucking times because of course I need you to do like your your cringe, like a cringe attack. Like a really bad one. Not like a really dumb one like that. I don't want you to do like that. There you go. There you go. Alright, that- next time I need you to do that, but in a way where I can actually hit you. There we go. And I'm not gonna like- let this fucking- There we go. I got Soul of Gwyn, Lord Cinder. At the end of the day, just because somebody said just parry or something doesn't mean that I still didn't put in the work. Because I did put in the work here. To even get to that point right then and there, I had to put in the work parrying myself, you know, getting the timings down and doing what I needed to do. At the end of the day, I was still able to cheese him. <laughs> Alright, well we did it. Uh, there's pro- I think there's like a secret ending you can get. But, I don't know what it is, but only 28% of people have gotten to Link the Fire ending. I don't know what that means. But, cool. There you go.
you go. Um, Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls Remastered. What a, a pain this has been. You know, what a, what a, what a journey. I have not been able to think about anything else. Um, I was able to get into the game again after a third attempt. The first attempt uh, I gave up on, I was on my own. Second attempt, I did it on stream. I got a, like four parts in or five parts in. I think it was four. And I said, I'm not doing this after I was in like, after like the weird queen lady, queen bug. And I said, fuck this. I'm, I'm too angry to even play this. Every single time I'm playing this, I get pissed off. Uh, I came back after a year later, over a year later actually, and we sat down, I just sat myself down and I'm like, I'm gonna beat this game, I need to beat it, you know, and now it's like, well now I gotta play the other ones, <laughs> I gotta play the other ones. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I better buy the second game. You know, before they remaster it, then remove the original from Steam. Like they did with the original Dark Souls. They just removed it from Steam. I guess they just thought that there's no reason for you to buy the original when you could just play the remastered version, but... I don't think they realize that there's people out there who do want to play the original if they're given the chance. Um, and they don't have, like, a PlayStation to play Dark Souls. <laughs> so, yeah, once we get... So now that we've gotten through Dark Souls, um, if I remember from what I've heard, Dark Souls 2 wasn't directed by the same person that directed the other Dark Souls series. Whatever. Um, so... That's why there's a lot of things that are different with Dark Souls 2. Um, that I know have complaints or whatever. And another thing is if I do get a PS5, which is what I'm probably going to end up doing, is I'll get a PS5 so we can play Demon Souls, the remastered, which is exclusive to the PlayStation 5. Um, so that's the plan be able to play Demon's Souls and Elden Ring. I'm probably gonna do, I would probably do Elden Ring before I did Demon's Souls Remastered, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess actually I probably should just play, I should probably just play Demon's Souls Remastered or just look into like reviews and whatnot about it. Just see if it's good or not. Cause I don't hear anybody ever talking about Demon's Souls Remastered. I'm sure Dark Souls 2 might be remastered at some point, but I don't see if there's any reason to. I, I don't know if there is really any reason to. Yeah. But, hey. You know what? I'm gonna say it. <laughs> as much shit that I gave this game, as much as I talk shit about this game, I, at the end of the day, I did actually really enjoy this game. There's no other reason that I can think of that would explain why I like this game. I can't explain it because I just cannot. I literally cannot explain it at all. What is this? Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, The undead are corralled and led to the north. Mm hmm. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Oh, it's New Game Plus. Is that what it is? Is this New Game Plus? I 
I think this might be New Game Plus. Why would I want to do New Game Plus? What do I get for doing New Game Plus? I think my assumption is if you do New Game Plus and you do it all over again, my assumption is you'd get the true ending. That's just an assumption though. Let me see. What's my gear? I have literally everything in the game. Well, not everything in the game, but, you know. I have all my stuff from before. Okay. If I do a new game plus, I feel like I should play with online turned on. But, eh, whatever. There's that guy. There he is. What's the point in doing this? So, once I get to a bonfire, I'm gonna figure out what the deal is with this. Or I could just get to Firelink Shrine instead. There we go. Okay. Oh, I have like 70,000? Hold on. I better use that. Give me a second. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. Alright. How much health does this guy got? There he is. Lost to Asylum Demon. There you go. Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Got his hammer. That's pretty sick. It's locked. They make you do this anyways. What a joke. Okay. There. Here, we'll get to Firelink Shrine real quick. What do you got? Target shield. What for? Hey, I'm not done with you. Get over here. Fine. Whatever. I'll just follow you into a trap. False sense of hope. It's dead. Alright. Into uh, Hey dude, what's up? Oh, you. You're no hollow. I know you I'm literally good. try to kill me, but whatever. No, you're not. In. Then lose my oh, never mind. Okay, I, I see. Something of you. you and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But yeah. perhaps you can keep the torch lit. Okay. There is an old saying in my family. Mm -hmm. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. It's the collector's edition of this game. Oh, no. Big pilgrim's key and then now whatever. I bid farewell. Okay. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. I don't know what those keys, I don't know what those keys do, but, alright. See ya. Rest at bonfire to replenish Estus flask. What for?
You're in my way. Ah, oh, damn. Hold on. There we go. Can you not shoot at me, please? Blocked. get out of here skedaddle skadoodle so i guess if i were to do this playthrough again like you know in this new game plus section what i would do differently um is i would make sure to not kill some of the characters that i guess i killed in my other playthrough Only and just kind of in the ancient i would also kill all the bosses in the game instead so i actually get the full experience undead shall be chosen Definitely. Also, I can actually go out of my way to do other things here, I guess, but I don't know. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. In pilgrimage. To the okay. land of the ancient lords. Uh-huh. I, I guess I better look up what New Game Plus Lord. even does, but who knows. I thought there was a, like, there was, like, a secret ending to this game, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Is that Anne Orlando? Was that where Anne Orlando was the entire time? I didn't realize. Level up and kindle at bonfires. Okay. Thanks for telling me. Covenant. Hi. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Guess you could Let say that. Guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. Well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One there sure is, is. in the undead church. Yep. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Yep. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much sure is. On, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna level up. I guess I'll level this up. Why not? Okay. Yeah, what the hell is this anyways? This is just New Game Plus, huh? Thrump is in New Game Plus now? 47 hours it took very interesting well yeah no i liked the game um i don't know how i would describe my time with it i i would say it's frustrating um you know i think super meat boy is a very interesting game i wouldn't say that i i enjoyed it my time playing it i thought it was all right that game was literally designed to be frustrating as well as this game was but let me see Dark Souls New Game Plus. So what is this? Ah, oh, god damn it, F extra life. Get the fuck out of here. Fandom. Here we go. New game plus or NG plus is entered once the chosen undead defeats Gwen Lord of Cinder and chooses either Um to either link the fire or usher in Age of Dark. We have no effect on New Game Plus. What is Age of Dark? So what is what is the link to the fire?
Okay, how do I do how do I do the other ending? <laughs> how do I do Age of Dark? This is just a lore. It doesn't even tell you. It just tells you lore. It doesn't even tell you how you get the Age of Dark anyways. You just walk away instead. Well, anyways, I got Link the Fire instead of doing Age of Dark because I didn't know I had a, a, a different choice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that the point of the... I thought the point of the bonfire was I was going to sit in it and then... Um... Teleport back to Firelink Shrine or something. I, I didn't know it was gonna. Anyways, the story of the events of New Game Plus are identical to the new game. The primary difference is the increase in game difficulty in the form of more powerful enemies and greater reward and souls for their defeat. The player keeps all non story based uh, acquired weapons, armor, items, and rings. Additionally, bonfires kindled in New Game remain kindled in New Game Plus. Okay. Once the player reaches the end again, they will start in an even harder difficulty and increase in, in, uh, in souls received from enemies, but only marginally so. Enemies gain 2.4 to 1.3 times their normal damage. Okay. All the normal stuff. After this, the increase uh, increases are smaller. Okay. And the difficulties increase it, uh, stops at new game plus 6. So in the game plus are Gwyn set his great sword and sunlight spear. Okay. Anyways, so we didn't get Age of Dark because I didn't know how to do that. And I have no idea. But apparently it doesn't it, again, it doesn't really matter what ending I got at the end of the day. So Yeah, that's that's it. I'll I'd give the game after my time with it. The first number that comes to mind would be a 10 sorry that was that was too that's too high an 8.5 out of 10. I'd say it's a pretty fair game but it has a lot of improvements. I think it's it there's a lot of stuff here that is very interesting and it's just like at the end of the day I my favorite part about the game <laughs> The only part that I, I really started enjoying was once I stopped using the shitty weapon that I had. Once I stopped using the Drake Sword and I started using a weapon that could one-shot enemies, um, I started kind of getting into it. And I wouldn't say, like, I don't know, man. It's, there's some annoying parts to it. I might lower the score. I think I'd give it a 7.5 instead of an 8.5 cuz there's a lot of parts that are just there just for annoyance sake and there's a, there's even like entire sections of the game that feel very unfinished um there it's it's like <laughs> there there's a lot of stuff that could have been there but it was just put there just for whatever reasons like the the part to get to Seth was like pretty unfinished and it was like it was okay but like there was no real explanation on anything going on really and I don't know it didn't really feel it didn't really feel natural if that makes sense and it, it definitely felt unfinished the lost of his Zalith is was unfinished <laughs> the crystal caves were unfinished like the, the I think the lower new lawn like lower Londo ruins or lo lower new Londo ruins or whatever was one of the more interesting sections but it also felt really 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 unfinished where it was just big open like uninteresting like areas with nothing really going on there um which I guess makes sense because a lot of the what would have been there would have rotted away at that point 
I guess. Um, so I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to remember a lot of this game, but it's because I struggled through it is why I remember it. Um, it's not necessarily good memories. <laughs> Uh, I will say the struggle that I had with the s the fight with the one guy, because I didn't realize if I just ran through the whole thing without stopping, I could have instantly killed the, the Ceaseless Desist or whatever his name is. Um, if I just, if I just, like, did it right the first time, it would have been so much easier to deal with for him. Uh, <laughs> but I did not, and, yeah, I suffered the consequences by having to deal with the stair strat, which was a pain in the ass, definitely. Um, Blight Town was a pain in the ass, but that was on purpose, of course. I think the worst part was the bottom of Blight Town with the Toxin Lake, uh, I think if you had really high resistance, this is the only time high resistance would ever benefit, would be in that section. But as you can tell, as I played the game and I started learning more about it by literally doing wi uh, Google searches and wiki searches and research, and I actually sat myself down and I found a farming method that I showed last stream, uh, that I did to help level my character up and get some stats set up and everything. Eventually I started I started getting into it more and I think the best part about it that I can I can genuinely say is that now that I get it and I get how the game loop and how to play it and understand kind of like what you really need to do to play through it and just kind of use that knowledge next time I play if I ever were to play it again. Um, I would definitely do a new game and not do the new game plus, personally. Because then I can start from the beginning and do a completely different build. I can now kind of start messing around with different builds and I actually know what to do. I know where to go, I know what's, what path I should be following. So on a second playthrough, I think I'd enjoy Dark Souls significantly more than I did on a first playthrough. Because I understand it now and I know kind of like what's going on, that means I can play around more and have a little bit more fun goofing around with different stuff, you know. Um, and obviously, you, you know, halfway through the playthrough, I kind of, well not halfway through, but early on in the playthrough, I went from doing dex build to switching it to a strength build after I got the drink, the Drake sword. Once I got the Drake sword, I started using only that weapon. Um... And I didn't, again, I didn't realize how foolish I was for getting that item. And it made my time even more hellish because of it. It wasn't that as bad, you know. It still did a decent amount of damage, but it could have been so much better. This Vihander is a really fun weapon. It's definitely helped a lot. I think if I were to go through it again, I noticed that a lot of people say Great Sword is really good. So I try a great sword build. I may I could just try so many different little things with it. Um, it's definitely interesting. So I don't know how bad or how much more difficult Dark Souls 2 will be. Or if I'm going to like Dark Souls 2 at all. I won't know until I play it. So we will see on that when we get to it. I'm going to have to do some research because... I don't know the difference between the two, uh, the two Dark Souls games. Dark Souls 2, specifically. There's Scholar of Sin, and then there's Dark Souls 2. And I don't know what the difference between the two are. Wait, what does this say? I will never forgive Reddit for telling me... S-O-T-F-S -S is better than this. After 140 hours and all achievements done, I can finally say this game sucks. Clown emojis. This game is actual butt hairs. Do not buy or play. Dark Souls 2 is a bad game. And it is a bad and an and it is bad on purpose. 
After you attack or drink your Estus, after the animation finishes, there's a little pause where your character stands around doing nothing. This was intentional in order to make the game feel unpleasant to play. Burning in hell might actually be more might actually be more enjoyable. Love hate relationship guaranteed. Have been lied to so hard. This game is an absolute banger. Twenty seven hours put into it. Super good game. Love it, especially the boss runbacks. Super enjoyable. The smelter demon runback is so easy though. Same with blue smelter and Sir Alone. They put not recommended. They have 95 hours in, put into this one. How many hours did we did we rack up with? Um, so Dark Souls, it took me 50 hours total with grinding, of course. It would have been a little bit less to beat this game. Um, without the grinding, because I think I probably put a total of 5 hours worth of grinding, maybe 6 um it's hard to tell really uh yeah it didn't take too long but uh, it seems like a lot of people struggled with that one so yeah so what what's what's um so dark souls 2 uh sorry dark souls 2 do i even bother to play dark souls 2 <laughs> do i even bother to play this one what's better what's this version better So what's Dark Souls 2? Scholar of the First Sin. Oh. The definitive edition of Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 Scholar of First Sin includes the Dark Souls 2 content released to date in one package and much more. Brand new experience and challenge online play. Um... I thought this was supposed to be the bad one. 2014 Elden Ring. Best game in the series, and I will not accept rebuttal. Iron Keep. Approach the game having encountered a wide range of opinions about it. I would say that um, my exceptions were particularly um, high or low, although after experiencing the game myself, I understand the strong opinions expressed by players. Whether they're singing its praises or tearing it apart, Despite some changes and flaws that I'm not mentioning because they have already been excessive, extensively discussed and debated, I really enjoyed playing Dark Souls 2. There were certain implemented changes that I didn't favor, but overall I developed a liking for the game as there were indeed numerous commendable aspects to it. I wholeheartedly recommend giving Dark Souls 2 a try, particularly if you've played other uh, Souls games but skipped this one. I certain I sincerely hope you find as much enjoyment in it as I did, and of course, praise the sun, my friend. Okay, so I'm going to do some research and figure out the difference between Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of First Sin, so I get a uh, general idea on it. And tomorrow... I'll do some research uh, tomorrow, I guess, or tonight, most likely. It, it probably would take be faster if I just did it tonight, but that's going to be that. I'm, I'm so happy I beat the game. I did it. <laughs> I can say I beat Dark Souls, t uh, Dark Souls, not Dark Souls 2. I can say I beat Dark Souls. Um, not a lot of people can say that. <laughs> Not a lot of people can say they beat Dark Souls, uh, and I did. I went out of my way to bust my ass to do so. I do want to make a new collection. I do do want to put Souls. Just give it its own genre in my Steam, just so I know it's there. Put it in the hard for, for good reason. Souls. And you know what? I think at the end of the day, I will add it to my favorites. But anyways, I think if there's one thing I can say definitely is um, I'm going to raise it up to an 8. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it, uh, wait, hold on. Okay, final rating. This game is an 8.5 out of 10. This is the final rating, even with its faults. 
um, at the end of the day, uh, I have bragging rights, and that's um, that means something. <laughs> I can say that I didn't fucking only play Dark Souls 3 because everybody played Dark Souls 3. Literally, most of my friends on Steam have Dark Souls 3 purchase, and they don't even have Dark Souls 1 on uh, remastered or Dark Souls 1 at all. Every, uh, like, okay. Nine of my friends own Dark Souls 3. How many people own Dark Souls Scar, Scar First Sin? Three people. You know how many people owned of my friends own Dark Souls 1? Three people. And you know what? I'm looking at the people who played this. And I can say for, for certain that a couple of them have beaten it. But anyways... Um, like two of them out of the three, but anyways, yeah. So every m majority of people have played Dark Souls, um, three. They don't even they haven't even touched Dark Souls, um, one. Which is from what I've heard, Dark Souls one is a unique game compared to, uh, Dark Souls two and three because Dark Souls two and three were linear style games compared uh, where. Dark Souls 1 is an open game. It's more open, so it's it's a lot harder to process and follow, and it's also a lot meaner. So again, I get bragging rights for beating Dark Souls 1. Although, I, yes, I did have to use a wiki multiple fucking times. I'm sure the majority of players who play Dark Souls, or play any of the Dark Souls games, unless they genuinely want to have a, 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 a fussy fit most likely, um, they most likely, um, did not use the walkthrough if that was the case, right? They did not use a walkthrough. That's the only other instance. It's just, they just really, really, really did not want to look things up. And I know a lot of people who are streaming the game, they probably took advice from, from chat a lot of times. Same with YouTubers. They probably took advice from chat if they didn't look anything up. Regardless, it's just that's just the way things are sometimes with games. Is that a lot of these games, they like to fuck with you, especially Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. They, they're designed to fuck with you sometimes with some of the items. They are troll items. There's a lot of troll things in the game that are there to annoy you. But them's the rules. Anyways, so... Another reason why I'm giving it 8.5, overall, I think, I, I did, it, like I said, once I got it, and that's the part that's the most important, same with music, it's like, once you have the, oh, I get it now, moment, then things start to click, right, things start, start really clicking. I did really enjoy the exploration portion. I did enjoy being able to, like, I had to be like, okay, so I need to run through here and get to the other bonfire. I need to run back. I need to backtrack and get to this area. It did, it did this, so, this backtracking so much better than Rain World, where in Rain World I struggled so hard with getting to and from places because of the timed mechanics with the water that make it really annoying to do anything, right? The the weird flooding mechanic made things so much more frustrating that it actually made backtracking a, a complete chore that wasn't fun, um, especially with portions where it involved you need to be a certain level or something to get further into the game where you need to go somewhere. It was, it, they somehow managed, Rain World for me somehow managed to do what Dark Souls did worse. Um, and I don't know how they managed to do that when I'm pretty sure that game based its entire gameplay around Metroid and Dark Souls. Um, but, and probably also, I do think there's a lot of cool shit about Rain World that I wanted to really like was the fact that the entire world is like its own little ecosystem. I think that's fucking cool. The way that they executed the whole thing, though, is the complete opposite of what I was really wanting from the game. 
I would have wanted way more survival aspects rather than platforming and race against time stuff. I hate time shit, especially when the screen is fucking shaking at 200 miles per hour, making it impossible to see, which is on purpose to add that level of, I guess, um, I don't know, but it makes it impossible for you to see when they do that. It makes it harder and harder for you to be able to run back and have that moment where you're being chased against time. They wanted you to have that moment where you're you're running you're running against the time of the flood back to like a safe point and it's impossible to do a platforming section and platform back to a safe zone when the game's shaking your screen so much. Anyways, that's enough of, of Rain World. I've already have I have my problems with Rain World. Um, Dark Souls, I I did not have a single problem with the backtracking here. I never once had really complained about the back. Well, I kind of did for Blight Town, but that was because I didn't know how to get out of there as an easier route because I just I didn't know that the that for some reason I somehow didn't see the fucking ladder to get out of there faster into Valley of Drakes. I don't know how. But I did, and that's my fault for that case. This game gives you a lot of shortcuts that help, and the bonfire placement, like, they were very, 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 very generous with a lot of bonfire placements. Off, more often than not, they place bonfires outside of boss fights. Um, or to a point where it was close enough to where you could get there pretty fast to do a, another run in terms of fighting um the boss so i they were pretty fair with the bonfires um another thing that <laughs> they, they again one of the troll things was the soul thing if i had if i had upgraded my estus flask a couple times i would have probably had a little bit of an easier time uh but at least i can say i <laughs> i i never upgraded my estus flask and that was on accident uh it wasn't on purpose um, and I do think the boss fights, although the only boss fight I think was probably, okay, Bed of Chaos was pretty bad. I mean, well, Bed of Chaos is alright, it's just the janky hitboxes for all the enemies were pretty annoying, but Melee has <laughs> janky hitboxes. No, the reason why they have janky hitboxes is so you can't dodge as easily, so their attacks can actually hit you. So, I guess it was so it's less likely for you to exploit the enemies. I'm guessing. Um, it's just, it just makes it... The hitboxes are, are bigger, so it's harder to deal with. Uh... And either that or they just genuinely were on time constraints and they just, for some reason, they just were rushing to get it out. And they just were like, okay, here's here's a hitbox. Okay, it's a big square. Okay, here. Okay, um, moving on. Next. They just didn't have enough time. I don't know. Whatever the case is. Um, I, I did enjoy leveling up the character. Once I started understanding... Like, what the priority should have been, and, like, how the f weapons are. There's, like, tons of different little weapons you could do different things with. Me, personally, at the end of the day, I really liked being able to one-shot enemies. That felt really good. Um, using The only problem I had with it was that it was slow, but that's that's just because it does a lot of damage. Um, was a Vihander. If I were to do another one, I probably would try to do it with a great sword or a long sword or both of them. Most likely the great sword, um, because the great sword it, it would have been somewhat slow, but it has its own little unique move set. I would have probably I would probably do a knight again, or I wouldn't do a bandit or whatever. Um, do a knight for a second playthrough, and then for a third playthrough, I'd dabble in magic, um, and actually do the whole magic system. I don't know how good the magic is, but it looks like it it does a lot of damage. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool, I'd give it a recommend. Um, now that I actually understand where to go, what to do, 
what are their priorities and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think my next playthrough round, I would definitely get all the bosses, even ones that aren't really necessary, if possible, you know. I'd have to look up the wiki for some of those, even like the DLC stuff. I don't, I haven't even, I didn't even do the DLC, but they have like some OP weapons in the DLC, so yeah. I'd probably do something with the scythe, the great scythe more, maybe. Seems like a cool weapon, definitely. Has a huge reach. I'd want to do something with um, lancers. Or halberds, you know, like just being able to have that distance would, is really nice, you know. But anyways, so um, I hope you have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I'm gonna do some research real quick, figure out which version of Dark Souls Two I need to get, and then we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put in streaming tomorrow um eight i think it's the 30th right 8 30 23 7 p.m cst then that's what's what we're doing we're gonna be playing some dark souls 2. i'm gonna go through that and then Dark Souls 3, after Dark Souls 3, we'll go through, um, we'll do Elden Ring. And then after Elden Ring, we will do Demon Souls. It's either I do Elden Ring or Demon Souls first. Um, it would probably be better idea for me to do Demon Souls first, then do, then do Elden Ring, because I feel like that would make a little more sense. Um, because Elden Ring is such a big game that Demon Souls is so small in comparison, and I know that Demon Souls is such a is probably a slightly more different game than the others. I don't know, but anyways. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I'm going to go and do some research, figure things out, and yeah. See you tomorrow, hopefully.